Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Sean here, and today I got another video for you guys. This one's a little bit different, uh, just because, you know, the past week I've been posting a good deal of Black Ops 2. Uh, just wanted to post a good amount of Black Ops 2, just because, you know, it came out. I was pretty excited for the game, having a lot of fun in the game. And uh, my next video will probably be another Black Ops 2 video, actually. Uh, but right now, here's something a little different. Today, I am playing some uh, Raider Z, and if you guys don't know what that game is, it's a free-to-play MMORPG. It's an action MMORPG, actually. Uh, that just came out two days ago, I believe. Um, yeah, two days ago. It's gonna it's gonna be the twenty second by the time you watch this video, and uh, it came out on the twentieth. But anyway, Raider Z, this is a pretty interesting game. I got to uh, play this game back in the beta in August or July or so. Uh, pretty much what this game is, it's it's a very traditional R uh, what's called MMO RPG. Uh, in terms of its questing system, in terms of its uh, guild party system, its log, uh, there's not much different about this game compared to other MMOs and other free-to-play uh, MMOs. Uh, what sets this different, though, from other MMOs is its combat system. Um, this game, All Raider Z, is pretty much uh, pretty much been labeled as like a monster hunting MMO, and uh, here's another game you guys might have heard of. But uh, Monster Hunter was a game that came out way back in the day uh the latest one was monster hunter 3 that came out like a year ago or so, monster hunter 3 sorry a year ago or so on the wii uh but pretty much monster hunter is like this game the combat system is uh, all about getting up close and personal with your uh monsters you have to hunt down and uh you know gi wielding giant swords and all that uh giant weapons really cool looking armor and uh the, all the combat's all about hacking and slashing and dodging um What's called monsters, uh, but you know this being an MMO, you got your standard classes. You got a berserker class, which is the class I am right now, that uses two-hander weapons. Uh, you got the defender, which is your standard uh, one. What's it called uh, a sword in hand and a shield on the other, uh, kind of your basically your tank class. Berserkers like your uh, your warrior class, your your kind of a DPS melee melee DPS class. Uh, you also got a uh, cleric which is pretty much your healer your uh, white mage whatever you want to call it and uh, finally you got the so uh, sorcerer which is your main dps ca class with uh, offensive magic attacks so like i said i am playing the berserker just because i you know i really like going up straight up hacking and slashing in games like this so anyway, um, yeah, the combat system is really uh, the only thing that sets this game apart from uh, other other you know traditional MMORPGs. Uh, this game is definitely fun to play. Uh, the game runs nice. It looks nice. Uh, everything just works well. Uh, it's 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 actually a pretty smooth MMO launch to be honest. I'll talk about the bugs later. Um, but you know this game is fun to play. It's free. Uh, it's not too big. It's only like three gigabytes. So if you have a decent enough internet connection, you could be up and going within like within the hour. Uh, and uh, everything just works out really well. This is a fun game. Very smooth launch for an MMORPG. Uh, again, I'll talk about the good things before I get really, you know, critical of the game. Uh, so yeah, the combat system is fun as you can see right now. I'm just going straight up hacking and slashing uh, these dudes. Um, the frame rate is stuttering a bit here because uh, basically uh, the game will load the areas you haven't been to first time and then they'll put it into a cache or something so it'll be smoother later on uh, but when you're exploring areas for this first time your frame rate tends to dip a little uh, and also this game does have a good set of video settings if you haven't seen uh, if you didn't see um, from like a minute ago or so uh, when I was going through the video options so like a free-to-play like any other free-to-play game uh, this game does have a pretty decent high end um, you know this game could look prettier there could be more effects and uh, a very good low end like um, people with half de half decent PCs a gaming PC from a year few years back should be able to play this game pretty well on medium or low settings all right so this game you know it's just uh, there's not too much spectacular about it I really like the combat system because I love monster hunter back in the day and uh, actually I forgot to bring this up but if you guys played the MMORPG Terra T-E-R-A uh, the combat system is pretty similar to that too um, so yeah the combat system is definitely a plus uh, the game just runs really well it's very smooth uh, but besides from that there's really not too much you know spectac spectacular about this MMO it is fun to play uh, if you're not already committed to any other MMO right now uh, this game is definitely worth picking up it's a it's just a very solid well-rounded fun MMO to play um, besides that yeah like I said there's nothing spectacular about this game all right so now uh, let's just be a little bit more critical about the game some of the bad things about this game I've noticed 
So, like I said, this game is very well-rounded. There's, um, It's just a very solid, fun game. So, really, uh, gameplay-wise, technically-wise, there's not a lot of things bad about this game. Uh, the gripes I have with this, games, uh, with this game, sorry, the bad things I don't like about this is just the, the design flaws of, of the game, uh, the, the gameplay designs, uh, choices. Uh, mainly, they're in the menus. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see it here. I am checking out this, uh, what's it called, weapon. Uh, smither here, uh, but mainly the problems I have with this game is just the small like gameplay design flaws uh, Basically, um, I don't yeah, I, I don't think it's in this video But um, there's just a lot of contrived things to uh, to to the menu system uh, when you want to craft a weapon um, You have to like wait for like the, the weapon to be created when you click yes Like basically what, what I'm trying to say is that when you go in you select a weapon you want to make you you click craft uh, There's like a really just stupid pointless uh, progress bar that shows up that you know, forces you to wait two, two seconds, and you know that's that's a bit tedious. Considering how MMO, you know, you want to make the best out of your time. You want to just rush through everything. You really don't need to wait a lot of time for, and uh, it just forces you to sit through a really pointless progress bar. Uh, I just find that to be really dumb. Um, I, I, yeah, again, I don't think it shows off in this video, but you know. Um, when you play an MMO, you don't want stuff like that. It's really pointless. Even though the progress bar is only like two seconds long, it still can't get annoying. Can you help? Another thing is uh, just pointless pop-ups, pointless menus when going through the menu. Again, when I want to sell stuff, uh, you know, I can sell multiple versions or sorry, multiple uh, quantities uh, of one item. Uh, all it does is it opens up a new dialog box. And in that box, I enter the amount I want to sell. Uh, but for for when you're selling multiple items of different items uh it, it just it's just really annoying because you know you can right click to sell your item but then you have to go through that dialogue box that uh asks you are you sure you want to build or sell this item so you just have to click on something you have to uh, what's it called click yes again right click and it just you know it's pointless it's pointless padding to the menu system it really doesn't need so many menus and uh, basically that's about it i have with the menu system other than that uh there's nothing really too annoying about that um back to let's go back to actually talking about some good things i forgot to uh talk about uh what's it called something good uh, i i i wasn't thinking about it until i opened up this uh what's it called crafting what's it called menu here uh but basically what you can do as you can see i'm looking through some of the weapons uh if you want to click on um if you want to you know get a certain weapon that you don't have all the materials for you can receive a recipe as you can see on the button button at the bottom of the screen and basically it just sets up the items you need on your uh on your quest menu on the what's it called on the right so you you can see at all times the items you need to create that wet weapon you wanted. I just find that to be, you know, really, um, really convenient because uh, later on in the game you have to create things that uh, what's going to require a good deal of components. So um, you know, it just keeps you on track, keeps you reminded that oh, you are going for those components and um, try not to sidetrack on the doing something else. Another nice little feature, as you can see right now, um, I am hovering my mouse over the little magnifying glass, uh, glass, sorry, over the item and basically what that is it just shows a list of of course all the mobs that uh do drop that item which again helps with uh, trying to get that weapon or armor piece that you wanted so much so yeah besides the really contrived things really arbitrary things uh that is in the menu system uh everything does work pretty uh, pretty well you got your standard comparison windows uh although it only compares to um your equipped weapon the one you have out right now you do have two equipped weapons but it only compares to the weapon uh that you have out right now instead of the one you have um on your second slot which you know all these little things they ca uh, i can honestly think um I honestly think they can patch in so uh, really not too not too much of an annoyance it's just minor little things they should really go uh, go about fixing uh, but besides that I really can't think of anything else bad about this game uh, you know this is just a really you know average solid game uh, there's nothing spectacular about it but there's nothing you know game breaking or just really bad about it uh besides the menus um the combat's very fun as you can tell uh, it, d it does kind of copy you know a really uh already standard formula and has already been used in mmos so uh i can't remember who develops this game but whoever developed this game is kind of late to the party uh but besides but sorry besides that this is a very solid mmo it's still not technically a full game because uh areas in the game uh, some areas of the game still aren't made 
Um, there's like six areas in total right now, and the level cap's only 25. So when you download this game, you could probably get to 25 within a few hours. Uh, it really doesn't take very long. But again, yes, they already said that they're uh, they're working on those maps. All of the maps are already in alpha, so uh, new areas should be coming out pretty soon. And with that, uh, the let's go. The level cap should be increased. So again, uh, this is Raider Z, a very fun free-to-play MMO RPG. Uh, if you aren't playing an MMO right now, you can definitely hop on this one and have a great deal of fun with it. But like I said at the beginning, if you're already committed to an any uh, to any other MMO, whether it be subscription-based, whether it be free-to-play, uh, there really isn't too too much reason for you to hop onto Raider Z. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at this game. Uh, I will be playing it for a bit. Uh, I'll probably record some videos of me fighting big bosses in the future. Uh, but until then, this is Raider Z. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you did please be sure to give it a like comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so uh, this is Sean and I will talk to you guys later peace out